We're here today at OSU's Woody Hayes Center with Coach Jim Tressel. Tell me, Coach, what helps your players maintain their high level of energy and endurance throughout the course of a game? Well, I'll be honest with you. This team would not be what it is without photosynthesis, in particular the Z-Scheme drill. The Z-Scheme is the part of photosynthesis that takes energy from sunlight and begins to transfer that energy into chemical bonds. It also creates the oxygen that we breathe. Let's take a look at it. The drill starts when one of our water assistants passes the ball or electron to the photosystem 2. Then photosystem 2 has to take on the photon tackle. As the photon tackles photosystem 2 passes the electron up to the excited reaction center. From the excited reaction center the electron advances toward photosystem 1 in a series of ATP releasing passes. Approaching photosystem 1 is tricky. The challenge is to take the advantage of the photon energy and use its momentum to kick the ball into the end zone, otherwise known as the Calvin cycle. Once photosystem 1 is hit by a photon, the re-energized ball is easily passed to another excited reaction center. He victoriously kicks the ball into the end zone. This is how the electron reaches Calvin cycle. In the meantime, the photosystem 2 player gets a replacement electron from the assistant water and the drill starts over again. Let's see this in action. At that point, the two water assistants, who have passed the ball to photosystem 2, team up to become an oxygen molecule. Photons from the sun are what makes this whole process possible. The electron transporters provide energy for ATP production, and that helps to power the Z scheme. One of the great side effects of the Z scheme drill is that water is eventually turned into the oxygen that we breathe. You're impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a chance to talk with you about photons.